Hi, I'm Chantel Diamond. Shit happens, but don't be a shitty person. <laughs> I get up in it, you know I eat my spinach. Hey. Trying to stay nutritious, cause I gotta flex on Christmas. Bring the litness. Hello, I broke my road mic. It works, but it physically broke, and I lost the windscreen, so I don't have that right now. It's windy right now. I'm sitting in my backyard, and we have a deck. I'll show you guys a deck in a bit, but we built a deck. It's my first time having a deck, and it's really nice, so. And it's actually really nice today. I'm not even wearing a jacket. Oh my God, like I'm just craving a warm climate right now, and it's uh, killing me. It's gonna be windy, I'm really sorry, but I have, I don't have anything else. But I really had to film my hair today because it's beautiful, I just need some sunshine. Let me tell you a story about something that happened, right? So the other day, I was walking down the street because I was going to the mall, but then I had to stop at Shoppers Drug Mart. So I had to walk from my house to Shoppers. I'm so sorry, the wind is blowing. Let me just wait for a second. I'm gonna try to stop talking when the wind's blowing so you can actually hear me. So I was walking to Shoppers Drug Mart, and then all of a sudden I see this white car pull up, and then they turn the corner, and they stop. So I'm walking through like a neighborhood area, right? So they stop, and then this lady gets out the car, and she comes up to me, and I'm like, okay, why is this lady coming up to me? She's about to like sell me something. It's gonna be some kind of, you know? But no, she comes up to me and she says, hi, this is be kind, or what she say? She's like, oh, I'm doing a be kind to strangers day. Pick one. She shows me a bunch of um, gift cards. She had iTunes gift cards. There's two iTunes gift cards. There's a Starbucks gift card. There was an Indigo gift card. There's a Shoppers Drug Mart gift card, which is where I'm going, where I was going, but I didn't, you know, but either way, I was like, Oh my god. I'm really indecisive, so I'm just like, oh crap, gotta pick something like right now. I ended up picking this little this little indigo gift card right here. Something like that has never happened to me before. Like someone just like I always see oh this almost fell through the cracks of my deck. I'm gonna put this in my pocket. You always see that stuff happening to other people. That never happens to me. Like like someone just doing something like that. The fact that a stranger, I always see videos of like people doing things for strangers and like getting them getting stuff. But the fact that that happened to me and it wasn't even being filmed, that was probably one of the coolest things that's happened to me this year. Um, and I was shocked seeing her do something so kind. First of all, it made me want to go out and do something for someone else. Because I honestly feel like when something good happens to you or someone does something for you, you should pay it forward. Extend that kindness to someone else, a stranger or someone you know, who doesn't matter. But then um, I also started thinking about something else because um, after a while I realized something. That this thing that just happened to me, it felt like payback for something I did for someone else. And I'm going to tell you a story. But before I get into the story, I want to say something really quick. Because a lot of the time, when the wind blows and video gets ruined I get angry when someone does something good like you see people will do something and they'll share they'll like film it or share it and a lot of the time you'll see people complaining like oh you're just trying to show off you're just trying to be such a good person why do you have to film it for why do you need recognition but here's the issue with that line of thinking there's a lot of negative things happening in the world we see negative news and negative things being shared all the time so my problem is and the problem with that whole line of thinking is why is it a bad thing to share some positive things when people do something good for other people and they do choose to film it why do people complain that they're showing off instead of complaining that someone's out there filming their good actions or talking about what they did why don't you do something good too instead of complaining be inspired that oh this person did something nice I'm gonna do something nice for someone else at the same time I don't think you should go around being like oh look what I did for all these people I don't think you should go around doing that but let me tell you why I believe this whole thing happened to me about a stranger give me a gift card um why I believe it happened to me and it has to do with karma because there was something I did for a stranger one time well recently actually let me just tell you a quick story time of this and I only want to share this story because I want to inspire you guys to be kind and to help other people so let me quickly tell you the story about the man on the bus I walk onto the bus and I go and sit down and this man immediately talks to me and says hi um, he asked me for a dollar 25 because he needed money for something he said he was homeless blah 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 so I decided let me give the man a toonie I had a toonie a few moments passed by and he asked me about some other question I told him hi I don't really know blah blah and then another moment passes by and he's texting on his phone and he's 
basically, it seems like he's having some kind of argument with somebody, and he asked me if I could help him spell um, um, what he was trying to type, and he was basically writing about going our separate ways. And on his phone, he had the word tight as A-R-E, like R, not our. But he needed help spelling, and he asked me, like, hey, can you help me? I just need to write um, the rest of this. I don't know, like, what to write. Most people might be like, how come this dude doesn't know how to spell, you know? Because even I'm just like, hmm. Basically, he um, asked me if I could type the rest of his sentence for him because he was having trouble typing what he had to say. So I, he handed me his phone and I typed the rest for him. There were some guys that were in the back row of the bus and it sounded like, I don't know if they were actually laughing or it sounded like I heard chuckles and like, like, oh my God, like stuff like that. But I don't know if they were laughing at the guy or something else because I wasn't really paying attention But if they were laughing at that, that's the thing is a lot of the time when someone's struggling We laugh or we ignore them or we judge them like how he didn't know how to spell Man, the geese are leaving. They're like, yo, we're out, man. So yeah, like most people, like those guys, maybe were laughing. I don't know. I saw this video on Instagram the other day of this guy named Catfish Cooley. He basically made an analogy about two lighters. He had one lighter that was left outside. Actually, I'm going to play the video. This lighter stayed in the house yesterday. This lighter stayed outside. Right off the bat, this lighter looks better than this lighter. That's how we uh, view people. We don't take into consideration that this poor bastard stayed outside all night in the cold and the rain and all the other shit. And sometimes all you need in life is a little bit of help. So y'all don't be too quick to judge. We all go through shit. Be there for somebody sometimes. They may need you and by God you may need them. Okay, we're back. From that video, that just reminded me of that situation. We all just need a little help. I think if, if we want other people to help us, we have to help others. You know, you can't expect people to just help you all the time if you don't extend a, a helping hand to other people. And that's the problem. A lot of us, we want, but we never give, you know? It's the Christmas season right now, and this is the most um, prominent time for giving and all that good, happy holiday cheer stuff. Not just because it's the holiday season, but also because it's the holiday season. Be kind. I just want to say this message, honest to God, karma 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 is a very real thing and i feel like because i chose to be kind to a stranger i got kindness back and that's proof with this gift card that's in my pocket so it doesn't fall to the cracks this gift card right here that i got handed to by a stranger who decided to be kind to strangers and you know what's cool like that same day i left the house later than i planned but now i see that i left the house exactly when i was supposed to it's just so i could get this you know if i left earlier like i planned i wouldn't have had this happen to me and you know what everything does happen for a reason at the same time i'm not saying do good stuff just to get good stuff back do good things because it's the right thing to do like i said there's so much negativity and crap going on in the world that we need more kindness we just need more people to be kind to one another <sighs> and that's my story and this is why don't be mean to people don't be mean don't be rude don't hurt others because karma is a real thing just like I got something good back you can get really bad shit back for something bad that you do to other people oh look at the geese hey what's good hey have fun bring me to Mexico with you remember this people you reap what you sow so sow some good beautiful seeds do not sow negative, hateful seeds because you will get negative, hateful fruit. Do you understand? Do you comprehend? Do you hear me? So be kind because it's the right thing to do. Be a kind motherfucker. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go inside because I'm cold. But please subscribe if you're new and also like the video for kindness sake. Be kind to my video and like it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me show you guys my deck before my battery dies. <laughs>